What's up guys, this is the Rifleman and I am back in the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as France. So to pick up where we left off, the garrison at Astrakhan is sallying out and because of the unique way the Empire uh, does its calculations for balance of power, this unit of battered 484 troops will, it's toss of a coin if they will beat us with our full army, a depleted army, but a full army with artillery and everything, apparently a toss of a coin. So I'm going to have to fight this one, so let's crack on. Pretty simple. It's going to be pretty basic because I don't really need to have I need to be clever in this one. Um, they'll probably get blown to hell by my artillery first and then they might make it into combat with my infantry but they'll probably only survive for a... Okie dokie. So just deploy the artillery on the flat ground looking in sort of the right direction. Let's take the strongest units to form a great big line. A couple units to protect the guns. And to be honest, the rest of them can just be reserves. Not that the reserves will really be needed. General here. How is here? Ready to rock and roll. And these guys can fire round shot. Let's get cracking. Yeah. So this is why it's handy. They can lob shells or lob, lob their round shot because they will skip over the hills. Wow. I think I, I'm just going to play this one on triple speed because, I mean, look at them. This is their army. Like... <laughs> Another round of artillery is coming in. Go after that regiment, of course. You're now going to start suffering from the from the position. Oh yeah, I should have deployed a bit further forward. Actually, the terrain is a bit bad here. Well, it's pretty terrible here, actually. But it's my first battle of the session. We're against 71 Eastern European. They're having the same problem. 71 Eastern European. And if I did something like this. Oh, they're routing already. This troop speeds up. They're routing. And the guerrillas will route imminently because their morale is usually shocking. Yep. Hey, this unit came not. I was about to say this unit came back, but they did not. <laughs> nice and short and sweet. You expected it to be anything else. Cool, so that is Astrakhan secured. And then we've got these little roaming Russian raiding forces running around being a little nuisance. And we've got lots of small stacks coming from the west. I'm not, I'm not sure what Sweden's doing, parking up in the fjord. Well, they're chasing down the Louisiana Navy unit. And then are they gonna... Yeah, they're gonna blockade my ports, and I'm more than happy to let them do it, because the income of those ports is inconsequential to me, and they have one region in central Sweden, so... Oh, when it comes to my Louisiana amphibious forces, I wonder where they'll go. Mugles are... Oh, they're clustering together, and I'm not sure I like that. The trick is to get engaged. Ooh, I don't like Genoa heading west. Heading east, sorry. Um, because I don't like Genoa heading east. There is a port in this region that has not yet been developed. Raid Pensacola. Okay, so let's go to Europe. So the reason why I'm a bit cagey about Genoa, head, Genoa heading east, especially with an army, not a great army, but an army nonetheless, less is that they will seek to engage me. The question is, do I just send out, do I recruit a general? Yeah, you know what, why not? 
send a general or someone Egypt garrison out to head them off at the pass. Because I don't want really I don't really want them to interfere with my conversion. Although actually we are pretty darn Egypt's pretty darn Catholic right now. But Genoa is an ally of Austria, uh, Sweden, and Venice. So suddenly this front line becomes very tricky. So I think similarly to Hatar, I was garrisoning in preparation for the in preparation for the, um, the Spanish to immediately try to hit us in this area. I'm going to want to do something similar in Berlin. Well, similar with all my frontier factions. Fortunately, now I've got a stack here. Who you will be placed? Here. And then the, when the first thing happens, they will strike and hit Munich. Because we can have Venetian stacks kind of suddenly pouring out. Oh, Turin looks a bit alone. Let's get some, some artillery. Okay, you're not doing anything. You're going to there. You can have the Grenadiers. Okay, it's going to guard artillery on the move. This single unit of artillery can't go anywhere. You are ready to rock and roll, so you go to Brest, and we will recruit some some sloops. Uh, what each one will use to ship ship the armies. Uh, this army I might send over here to this fort because this will be the fort where I sally out against the Spanish. You're recruiting your Bois Bavois, you're recruiting your Fusiliers. Oh, a couple of catch all generals. So Paris is still almost. Oh, see, Clarif reform's going down because of the text we're researching. So these are our Swedish port blockades. Construction report. So let's keep cracking on with upgrading our infrastructure. Not infrastructure, just our buildings in general. Oh, good. Hyderabad's on is being improved. Let's get steam dried up in Georgia, but I'm probably not going to use it. And then this no, pencil color is being upgraded. Cool. So in Europe, although you see this, this you are completely Dresden's completely open. But I'm probably going to hit Munich because then it'll be a bit of a staging post against Venice. So I may actually want to have okay. So one army is going to go here against the Spanish. One army is going to go down here, probably maybe here actually, and be ready, to, or maybe just wait here and ready to push in Italy when the time comes. Because this is this could get messy, so it's why we want to finish off the the in the uh, the Russians as quickly as possible. So let's get the militia secured. Let's get these guys recruiting. Let's get them back to Russia to start to chase down some of these rampaging, raiding little stacks. In a similar vein, let's get this army here to go. If you go through here, St. Petersburg, when it's ready, can come through here. Although you need you need replenishment and you need a unit of foot artillery, so probably something big. So you don't want heavy horse guards to be perfect. And let's get a unit of marines. And you guys replenish because you are quite tired. So Ashkan is secured. Replenish. Fix. And then let's do a bit of an infrastructure check. We've got buckets of money. And infrastructure is quite a nice little learner. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if someone's done all the stats to work out at what point it becomes less about the economic benefit and more about the military benefit. But I'm not so bothered about that. As far as I'm concerned, better roads is better we always moan about in the UK about how we don't invest in our roads are too small and our trains are crap and they're Victorian the Victorian network and I'm not going to be that person we're going to have modern as modern infrastructure as we can get 
And that's everyone, I think. Okay, so you are laying siege to Nagpur. You will move on to Malwa. You will move on to Ak Akbarabad. Maintain siege for a turn, then we'll assault them next turn. You're being converted. Let's upgrade this to an Iron Master's works. You are being converted to Catholicism. You love me. Same with you. Perfect. Ah, I also need to recruit a sloop to bring this force into the mix. I'll probably land them. If we hit Ahmedabad, uh, to because if we're going to hit Malwa, and if we hit Ad Ad Ahmedabad, then we will cut the Indian faction in two. So these guys might be under a bit of a bit of strain, but it will then start to rely on these guys moving west to hit uh, these Mughal forces. And I'll probably try to attack cities where possible, but I'll need to stack up my guys. Yeah, Portuguese army is ready to come into the mix, so let's get some regular foot artillery. Okay, let's get two of them, and I can't get regular artillery 34 pound guard artillery 18 pounder 24 8 6 32 4 inch 24 pound rocket troop buckle guns rockets let's get a rocket troop just for fun then let's get two units of something a bit different let's get two units of fusiliers cool so we'll have two armies ready to engage on the in the Spanish region, actually, I might cancel a few layers. And instead, we'll use the. Pardon me. Instead, we'll use the Marines. Yes, Ashkan's captured. So we're not going to go after Dagestan or Georgia. We're going to swing west, and I'm. We're, we're trying to decide. We're going to swing west, and then this army is going to probably stay in this area to prevent them from having any silly ideas. Because we will, there's a chance, we'll have to hit Dagestan anyway, because they have a Indian region. Okie dokie, cool. I think we're going to hit enter and see what happens. So spies in the mix, our priest is on the way to convert more people, our American armies are still in position. Just let let's just let recruitment happen. It's not going to be as efficient as if I actively managed it, but you know, I'd rather. Sometimes it's nice to let the AI take the wheel, so to speak. Ooh, Austria's in Warsaw. Because the. Yeah, this is, as far as I'm concerned, this, the Russia war is phase one. If we knock out Russia, the next question is the Spanish question. It's, it's the Spain, the Spanish-Austrian trifecta. Because they could, if Spain declares, or if Genoa declares war on us, because they're heading east, then that may cause Spain and Austria to join war against us. Because Spain hates us, so they would look for an opportunity to attack us. Oh, good. So I like it when the Russian raiding forces all merge into into bigger stacks. So it makes them easier to manage. Cool. Alright, you gonna are you gonna blockade somewhere, Russia? Have at it. Oh, the Russians become steal my technology, I suspect. Oh. Yep, so they pushed the Austrians back. Was that Genoa? No, no, not Genoa. Gdansk. I think it was Gdansk. Alright, raiding force is still on the move. Were they attacking me? I hear a Frenchman. So listen, they might be after Crimea, which is okay, because we are replenishing. And those guys are going somewhere, they're going to safety to change ships around, I, I imagine. 
Oh, Moogle. Ooh, do. Okay. Raiding force. Moogle raiding force. So let's recruit some small army to go and chase them down. Because they will just... Oh, yeah. Genoa is going to be after me, I think. There is a port in this region that has not yet been developed. Select the type of port to construct here. A fishing port will help your population grow. A trade port you, will provide anything, an income so from overseas trade. A here. naval port allows the construction of... Moody. What does movies militia out? What are you? Seek musketeers. Okay, let's get... Let's get a general and let's make this a bit fluffy and kind of have... It'd be more a more native you know, East Indian Company, but Indian Lancers, native Indian cavalry. Good. Port blockaded, not blockaded. So you've built your artillery fort. Don't want level two forts. Everything's upgraded in Calcutta at the moment. Hyderabad's got to next level military buildings. Great, the Jesuit College to a seminary. We need to get ready to start to move troops westward. So I want to keep these guys together. Actually, I think we need to strip away this unit of militia and you and you back to Hyderabad. Give them how it says. So these guys need to stay together, and I want to see if I can attract some of them towards me. Um, get on Malwa. Oh wow, that's not even a, that's not even a, a fight. Malwa's ours, repair it, give ourselves some walls. Tea. Craft workshop. Palatial estate. And a religious school. Perfect. Well you took a hammering. The 11th light foot. New town emerges in Cherokee territory, so it's going to be a craft workshop. I think we completed all this. Upgraded the port. Okay, so where did that Genoan stack go? Did it go over here? Or did it go back to Tripoli? Votre Majesté? So then you go back to Egypt, and it's, it's tempting to do what the to wait and see what happens. If the Genoese attack me, I'd like to hit Greece. If they bring in the Venetians, I'd like to hit Patras and wipe out any formation of a Greek nation right off the bat. Okay, they've they've got troops, but they've had troops there for ages. So you're ready to defend. You're ready to defend. That's just level one. That's level one. Okay, we're ready. Secular humanism has been researched. It's gone to classical economics, but that's with Heidelberg, which is my most useless school. So I'm going to let them keep researching it until someone better can, can and then I'll destroy it now. I'll, I'll destroy it. There's no point having it. Ah, good. So let's take one sloop. On board. Sail to India. Okay, let's, still let, let's, still just let the, let's just let the messy recruiting crack on. So you're ready. Um, I might actually attack Akbarabad. Village assiégé. Operation de siège en préparation. So we've got a unit of camels coming up from behind. Well, let's assault this. Let's get a big battle. So you do have to be a bit careful of the camels coming from behind, but I feel it will not be a big problem. It feels that sort of we will defeat with a couple of volley volleys of musketry because I think it's the camel gunners, not the actual melee combat cavalry.
Oh, that's quite okay. That's that's perfect. Because if we're if we're worried about cavalry, then that really protects our artillery from the rear. This. So to make my assault, I'm going to want obviously my marines and grenadiers, and then let's get a nice selection of line infantry. And they hunker down maybe a bit further back than that. And stretch them out. So I have two units here to guard this side. Two units over here to guard this side. And my light infantry, and my scouts and skirmish order in front of my howitzers, with my general up here on the head. Perfect. So you blow a hole in this wall. These guys can open fire on whatever target they see fit. So they're off to the general. Wow, one volley did 51%. We do have some pretty kick-ass artillery, though. Looks like they might have killed some of my gunners. Yep, yeah, they are batter they are counter-battering us. Then they may switch to round shot and have them just start plinking at the centre because all of these are the silk wa the seek warriors and the silk warriors. It's got mortars, loads of mortars, but I'm not worried. the garrison musketmen, you got this unit of garrison musketmen. So I doubt we'll be able to actually make... To be honest, they blew, they blew the walls down so hard, I may put a breach, two breaches here and a breach here, to allow these two units to attack through this side. Oh, populace, I'm not worried about. Oh, here comes the quick line. Bit of a miss. But it's aiming after the musket men as well, I suppose. So lots of damage to the musket men. Perfect. Because these guys should be defeated by. I don't want to bundle up by the gates. This is what I like. I could bundle up capture the gate and pour everyone in but I don't like doing that that's why I have them attack all the walls because they don't they don't take that long to climb up I must have had them I must have had them try target the unit rather than the wall because they should have destroyed that by now ah uh, you think this will help tucking them in here it does not help Need to butter them up a little bit. I appreciate he's making holes for my own defence, but I've got a I've got a full stack army. It's more than enough to defend. Although, does this count as gatehouse? Because they're all going for this. You think this section? You think this section would be different? But okay, and then you go for this side. Oh no, no, don't go for that side, go for the... Uh, sorry, I miss... I, I forgot the thing about Indian fortresses, is that the corners are targets. Oh, this, guy, this guy got blown off the walls, one of these bodies. But yes, you can collapse the corner, I think. I suppose not. They're all going for the centre. Okay, we'll try to go for the mortars if you want to target. But I'm curious to see if you'll actually hit them or not. So let's speed this up a little bit. Do you give it a go? Okay. 
can hit. So you can do some damage to it. And that's just asking for a... That's what happens if you lay your guys up in a column. That happens. I don't want to move my troops up from here to cover the breaches because I know where those camel gunners are. Okay, now's the time. Maybe walk until the mortars start firing, then run. Let's speed up time a little bit, because all the artillery is just going to keep hammering away. Just about to start. Or it said they were. It said firing at will. But okay, didn't want to. Okay, let's get these guys to start. Picking off the guys in the centre. Lovely. There we go. Oh, no, quick climb. Yeah, yeah, that's not good. Okay, because their mortars, their quick not as good. Hopefully, from my experience, it was always a bit lackluster. Oh no, it's almost a perfect shot. So you climb the wall there, you climb the wall there, you you climb the wall at the gates. This unit of marines hunker down. In the gatehouse, ready to form a square. Everyone climb. And the I'd wave it too. They're folks firing you, so. I'd expect bad things to happen. Oh god, they're all going. Okay, now move some of some guys up to provide another target. Because right now they're focus firing on my assault. Shot now because they're too close. Good. Our oh, gatehouse. Storm the Marines in. Oh, too close.
rapid fire going. Oh no, they're gonna destroy this section of the wall. Engage marines, engage in combat, engage the sea warriors. You are engaging them. It's unpopular, so it's not so bad. Run you in through the center. You engage this unit of sea warriors. You engage them too, don't worry about shooting them. You'll just kill a bunch of your guys. doing well against Seek Warriors, the Seek Warriors are winning, but it's we're doing okay. This army may be lost because they're about to be attacked by a couple of units at once. You you actually charge into the back of these Seek Warriors. Fine, kill the two man. Warriors. To save them. You go after the gunners. So we caught one unit of guns. These guys got snagged up by their cavalry, which we should be winning against. Just go straight in. No time. Run, 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 run. Yes, yeah, you will be fired upon. However, there is no time. Seven guys left in this seek unit. Five. So that should be enough. Let's hop fire with all of my artillery. So killed their general. Kill the seek musketeers. They're routing. Good. Everyone's routing. Ah, perfect! Without a worry about their camel gunners in sight. Let's end that battle. That's a very, very nice victory for the French. For it's a major Indian territory secured. We have shattered the Mughal Empire's power in India, I think it's fair to say. Let's fix the army staff college. I like just I like replacing their cultural buildings with my cultural buildings because maybe it's because I'm British, but at the same time, 
I think it makes a bit more sense. Oh, well, I think I've been uh, influenced by Rome Total War, where it always seems like if you want to stop, if you don't want to stop people from being antsy about cultural differences, you just build your own stuff and eventually they'll like it. Good. Very, very nice gains in India. And I think. Well, actually, have I got any assaults? Siege going on in Europe that I could fight against the Russians. So do I? I think I do. Bring them over to Courland. Hold on. Maintain that for now. And build. Put a bit of a garrison. Take this line infantry, assault, and we will attack Courland. However, looking at the timer, I believe that's the end of this part. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed, and we'll see you next time for the assault on Yelgava, 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 Courland. Thanks, guys.